On July 2014, Mirror News posted an article that tells story, the story of Frank Coppola, whose legs and head got set on fire while being electrocuted. It was a, uh, he was getting uh, executed for a crime. It took him two 55 seconds jolts to kill him. Two minutes of being electrocuted. Today I'm here to talk to you about why capital punishment is an ineffective form of punishment. First, it's financially unstable. Second, it's, it violates the Constitution of the United States. And third, it does not deter crime, I mean murder, crime and murder. Let's go over the first point. Capital punishment violates the Eighth Amendment to the United States Constitution. The death penalty in its finality is unconstitutional because it leaves no room for error which can lead to putting torture, putting people through torture and execution of innocent lives. This leads me to, uh, with the inadequate representation of many defendants in death penalty cases, it is mostly the poor that suffers the consequence because they can't, they can't buy a good enough lawyer to get them out of the death row pound. Um, this leads me to the second point, which is the methods of execution and how cruel and painful sometimes they can be. According to death, row, to death penalty info.org, an organization, a nonprofit organization that that is um, dedicated to giving information about the death row, 35 states use lethal injection, eight, five, eight states use electric chairs, and Three states use gas chambers. The most recent April 2014 incident of a lethal injection execution gone wrong, a quote by LA, by LA, by the LA Times says that Lockheed's beams exploded while send, uh, sending an inmate into a writhing, gasping fit that ended more than half an hour later with a fatal heart attack. The second point, my second claim is that Capital punishment is financially inefficient. It is expensive to put inmates through death row. A summary of the 2008 report of the California Commission on the Fair Administration of Justice posted by the death, deathpenaltyinfo.org included that the cost of the, prison, uh, the present system for death row cost $232.7 million a year. On the other hand, they put him through, uh, if they put him through incarceration for life, it would only cost 11.5 million a year. Not only are we spending more money on the death penalty, that money could go towards other things, like as in rehabilitating uh, inmates that are going back into society instead of using it on people who are gonna die. The last point, why I think death penalty is an ineffective form of punishment is that it does not deter crime, which is always being argued by politicians that are in favor of um, keeping the death penalty. According to deathpenaltyinfo.org, the post, uh, they posted an FBI crime uh, in the US, which is, they do research on, why, uh, on crime in the US. Murder rates are lower in states that abolished the death penalty than those states that did not abolish it, that enforce it. 17% less in 1994, 46% um, less in 2005, and 18% in 2000, 18% less in 2011. That shows how, um, that shows how the death penalty being enforced does not, it's actually making them go higher. But that also can, can depend on other things, it's not just that. We've reviewed why, um, we've explored why the capital punishment is unconstitutional, financially inefficient, and does not deter crime. I hope that you can now see that the death penalty is an ineffective uh, form of punishment.
All right, the story of the execution gone wrong. Uh, the first one you have is an electrocution. Uh, I know that it says it was reported in 2014. Um, I, I, I don't remember uh, if that if that took place in 2014 or if it was reported in 2014. The uh, execution where the um, it was lethal injection that appears to have been uh, this year. So uh, that was that was pretty good. Uh, so the only question I had was with that attention device whether or not you're using something that's contemporary or something that's a little bit out of date. If it's if it's contemporary, then you ought to get some use out of that and and point out you know the date at which the execution took place, not just the date at which it was reported on. Uh, the the proposition is clearly labeled. Um, the secondary points are outlined for us uh, pretty effectively, so we know where you're headed. On the uh, issue of it uh, being constitutional, I think that that's a little bit underdeveloped. There's an argument about innocent people being executed, but I didn't hear any data on that. I didn't really hear any uh, constitutional principles that were argued there. There was no uh, scholarship uh, suggested that it violates the uh, criteria of the Constitution, just kind of a, a vague explanation that if it doesn't work, then it's, it's not something that's really uh, constitutional. Then there's a the second argument, which deals with the method of execution. Uh, you've, you've got the two examples, the electrocution and then this um, lethal injection that's going on. Uh, <coughs> I don't know whether that is a consistent experience with each of those uh, forms of execution uh, or if they're the outliers. And if they're outliers, I'm not sure that we ought to be reasoning from them. If you could find some information that says that those are problems that are faced typically, for instance, when there's a use of lethal injection or when uh, electrocution is used, I think that would make that argument a little bit stronger. The cost issue is the one I thought that you had the clearest evidence on. Uh, it was most effectively explained. Gesundheit. Uh, the, t the deterrence argument, um, all right, and one more, and that's it. After that, you get well on your own. Um, the deterrence argument, the, you present some statistical information, but it's not very clearly explained. I don't know if you are reading information from a table or if this is a conclusion that was derived by somebody who's reading the FBI crime statistics, um, or you know, you're making the inference yourself by comparing the states, but uh, the, when you have the statistics that you're presenting, I didn't know what those statistics meant. You know, 18%, 20%, 40%, whatever those numbers, what, what, what do those mean? Does that mean that there were that percentage fewer murders in states without the death penalty? That's what you need to say. It it's, needs to be complete sentences, and instead it's just numbers. And so that's a little bit uh, confusing. <clears throat> Uh, the rehab issue, you know, spending money, you know, that we save, that goes on the cost issue. That's really kind of outside of the realm of your particular topic because your proposition is arguing about the effectiveness of the death penalty. And so I think that's really kind of a separate issue that's going on there. Probably should be left out of the argument. All right. Thank you.